Okay, in this video, we are going to be going over what happens when we add resistors in series and we add an additional resistor to that series circuit. What happens to the voltage, the current, and the brightness of the bulbs? Now, I have another video I made for series resistors and also I made a video for what happens when we add resistors in parallel. You can link to all those in the upper right-hand corner of this video. But let's get started with adding resistors in series. And this is the circuit that we're going to be working with from this for this video. We have three bulbs, bulb one, bulb two, and bulb three. And we have a voltage source over here. Now we also have a wire that's connected through this switch, which allows the current when the switch is closed, which allows the current to bypass this bulb and flow through this switch. And when we open that switch, we'll be forcing the current to flow through bulb one. In a sense, when the switch opens, we'll be adding a resistor in series. We'll be adding bulb one in series to bulb two and bulb three, which are already in series. And we wanna know for the following five things, are they going to increase, decrease, or stay the same when we open that switch and add that bulb in series? We wanna know what happens to the total resistance of the circuit. We wanna know what happens to the total current through the circuit. And then what happens to the voltage, the current through, and the brightness of bulb two and bulb three when we open this switch and add this bulb in series. So let's get started and talk about the total equivalent resistance of that circuit. Now we know, or I'm just gonna show you that we have a nine volt source and we have three bulbs and they're identical bulbs. They all have the same resistance and that resistance for each bulb is three ohms. Now we know we have our uh, resistance rule for resistors in series, and that says that the total resistance is simply the sum of the individual resistances of those bulbs. Now, as I said, when we have the switch closed, then current only flows through this bulb and this bulb. So that means that the total resistance is just going to be the sum of those two individual resistances, which is three ohms each, which leads us to a total resistance of six ohms. Now, when we open the switch, we force the current to flow through bulb one, and now we have three bulbs. We've added a bulb in series, and that means that the total resistance is going to be the sum of those three, which is just three plus three plus three, which is a total resistance when the switch is open of nine ohms. So you can see when we open that switch, add that bulb, that first bulb in series, that the total resistance of that circuit increases. Now, I showed it to you there mathematically, pretty straightforward, but how about we wanted to say that in our own words? What, how would we describe that? We could say the total resistance of the circuit, okay, increases because it is the sum of the individual resistances and we have added a bulb in series, and that's basically what that equation right there says. Total resistance, sum of the individuals. Add another one, resistance increases. Now, what about the total current through the circuit? Now, we're gonna use Ohm's law V equals I times R, and the current total is equal to the total voltage divided by the total resistance. If we wanna know the total current, we have to use the total voltage and the total resistance. All right, now when the switch is closed, okay, the total current is equal to the total voltage, which is just nine volts. And when the switch is closed, only these two bulbs are lit, and that means the total resistance is six ohms. And that means the current through that entire circuit is gonna be 1.5 amperes. When we open the switch, we force the current to flow through bulb one, and that means that the total current is not gonna be the total voltage, which is just nine volts but the total resistance increases from six to nine because this ball is lit. And therefore, that the total current, the total current when we open that switch is going to go down, it's gonna decrease in one amp. So when the switch is closed, it's 1.5 amps. When we open that switch, add that bulb in series, then the current decreases. Okay, and that should be pretty straightforward because the total current through the circuit decreases because the total resistance increases and the current and the resistance are inversely proportional to each other. Okay, if we increase the resistance, we decrease the circuit. Decreasing the resistance will increase the circuit. Excuse me, will increase the current through the circuit. All right, now what about the individual bulbs, okay? 
And we want to know what happens to the voltage drop okay, across bulb 2 and bulb 3 when we open this switch. Now we have to rely on some of the previous information that we have. We're going to use Ohm's law again because we're just going to be calculating the voltage. Okay, when the switch is closed, we said previously when the switch is closed, the total current is 1.5 amperes. All right, now the voltage drop across each bulb. To do that, we're going to use the resistance of each bulb, not the total, but the resistance. So we take that 1.5 amperes, which is the total current, and multiply it times the resistance of one of the bulbs. We get that the total voltage drop, excuse me, the voltage drop across the individual bulbs is 4.5 volts. So that means we have 4.5 volt drop here and a 4.5 volt drop here. That's 4.5 plus 4.5. That has to equal the total voltage. All right. Now, when we open the switch, the current, the total current decreased to one amp. So now to calculate the voltage, it's one amp times the individual resistance. And that means that the voltage drop across each of those three bulbs is now. 3 volts. So we have a 3 volt drop here, a 3 volt drop here, a 3 volt drop here. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 volts. It has to be equal to the voltage of the source. So when we open the switch, okay, the voltage drop across each of the bulbs is going to decrease. It decreases from 4.5 to 3 volts. Now how could we describe that with a sentence or two? We can simply say that the voltage drop across bulb 2 and bulb 3 decreases because the voltage is now split between three bulbs instead of two. Okay, when you have voltage in series, it's often called a voltage divider or voltage splitter because the voltage is simply split between the number of bulbs or the numbers of resistors. And when we have the switch closed, we only have two bulbs. When we have the switch open, we have three bulbs. And therefore, the voltage goes down because it's split between more bulbs. All right? And we have the voltage rule for series resistors. All right, now we're going to talk about the current. Okay, now the current through the bulb. Now, this is not a little tricky, but we've already figured this out because we know the total current when the switch is open and closed. We calculated that already. And because it's a series circuit, the, the current through each of the individual bulbs is going to be equal to the total. So we calculated the total. That means we know the current through bulb one, bulb two, and bulb three. All right, but let's just go through and calculate it one more time. Just go through it and show you. We're going to use the Ohm's law, solve for the current. When the switch is closed, all right, the total resistance is six volts. To calculate the current, it's the voltage divided by the resistance. So the voltage is nine. The total current is really what we're calculating in this case is 1.5 amperes. Well, we know the current through each of the bulbs is also equal to the total. So when this switch is closed, current does not flow this through this bulb, but it flows through these two. And that means that current through each of the bulbs is 1.5 amperes. All right? I like to think of the total current as what's kind of coming out of coming out of the battery or the voltage source. And then we can think about the current through each bulb, but we know all of those things are equal to each other for a series circuit. Currents are equal everywhere through that circuit. Now we're going to open the switch. We're going to put the first bulb into play, like this bulb. Remember when we did that, that the total resistance D, excuse me, increased to 9 ohms. When we calculate the total current again, it's 9 volts divided by 9 ohms, and we get 1 ampere. Once again, the total current is equal to the current through each of the bulbs. I1 bulb 1, I2 bulb 2, I3 bulb 3. So when we do that, we see that the current through each of the individual bulbs, which is equal to the total, is going to be 1 ampere. So when we open that switch, the current through the individual bulbs, as well as the total, decreases from 1.5 to 1 ampere. Okay, and how might we say that with a sentence or two? We could say the current through 1 and 2 decreases because the total resistance increases. Okay, so that's kind of like we're saying we're calculating the total. And then all of the bulbs get the same current. Okay, the current is equivalent everywhere through that circuit. Okay, one more thing. There's the current rule for uh, series resistors. And then the last thing is we're going to calculate the power of the bulbs or the brightness. The bright, we also how bright the bulbs are, but the brightness is really directly related to the power. We can calculate the power as the current times the voltage.
Okay, now we've already calculated the current and the voltage. So when the switch is closed, the power is 1.5 amperes because that's the total current. Okay, and that current is flowing through each of these two bulbs. Remember, each of these two bulbs, when this switch is closed, each of these two bulbs had a voltage drop of 4.5 volts. So that means the power output of this bulb and this bulb is 6.5 watts. When we open the switch, then the uh, current reduced from 1.5 to 1 ampere, if you remember. And remember, we have three bulbs now. So the voltage is split evenly, because they all have the same resistance, the voltage is split evenly between those three bulbs, and therefore the voltage drop across each of the individual bulbs is three volts. One times three is three, so the power output, okay, is the power rating of, for each of those three bulbs is now three watts. So the power output, or the brightness, decreases from six watts to three watts when we open that switch. Okay, because we're adding another bulb. All right, so the, the power decreases, the brightness decreases, and we can say that there's really two things because it's a basically a pretty simple series circuit. So two things are happening. The brightness of bulb two and bulb two, bulb three decrease because the current through the bulbs as well as the voltage drop across each of those bulbs decreases. And remember the power is the current times the voltage. So if either one or both decreases, then the power or the brightness of those bulbs is going to decrease. Okay, so there you go. That was a lot to do in one video. We did all five of those things. And we have our little summary here. We wanted to figure out what happens to each of those five things. It's going to be increasing, decreasing, or stay the same. So this is what we got for our results. The total equivalent resistance increases because it's just the sum of the individual resistances. The total current through the circuit decreases because the, in the resistance and the current are inversely proportional. The resistance went up, so the current goes down. Then the voltage drop, the current, and the brightness of bulb two and bulb three, when we open this switch, the voltage drop, the current, and the brightness for two and three decreased. All right, so there you go. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all of the following four things. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them just how much you care. Thank you very much for watching and supporting me. We'll see you in the next video.